Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome to part 42 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. We have got a big task ahead of us, so let's just jump in. Now we are at the way of path of flowing spirits. We're trying to find this spirit wielder. Well, you can see a tower that appears to be the place, but there are two problems. Well, this is a pretty deep bog. It'll be pretty hard to cross this thing. Okay, so, since this spirit wheeler appears to live in the castle and gets across this bog somehow, perhaps there's some kind of boat that she uses. But we don't see anything of the kind. And anyway, if they did use it, they wouldn't leave it out for, you know, trespassers like us to use. And then there's the other thing. Above this bog, there's this one spirit floating about. And he seems pretty big. When we attempt to cross the bog, it's pretty likely it's going to attack. And getting caught on the bog by something that can fly like that is extremely disadvantageous. Since it has freedom of motion and we won't, it'll be really difficult. So, can't be helped. Let's pull back. And once we've got everything in order again, we can try coming. First of all, we got to figure out how to make this bog so hopelessly detrimental to us. And so we leave. Interestingly, that passes the day of game time and we get another cutscene with Eel. So, Eel's come and made a bunch of food for us. Mikhail does the announcements. So, she'd be happy if we had some. It's a pretty good spread, actually. This is an impressive feast, so... Is today some kind of celebration? No, this is just a token of her gratitude for things recently. All right then. So thanks to you as well, and she'll have some. It looks like we'll go through a lot of alcohol today. She should have brought more. <laughs> so, as always, Eel's cooking is really good. And compared to Miku's previous days, Eel has a lot better and a lot more food ingredients to work with. So she needs to watch out that she doesn't eat too much. So, I'm always going to take a seat next to Eel. So, thanks for putting this all together for us. 
Thanks to you all, we get to have these really tasty meals basically every day. <laughs> I've always especially appreciated it because he closes himself in his workshop so often. Yeah, she likes cooking. So, the people who eat it find it tasty. And they smile and thank her. And furthermore, she by making it may get... She by making it is pleased, so... It's mutually beneficial. This is, uh, happiness that she's been looking for, for a long time. Yeah, your happiness, huh? So, everybody's eating and we get to wash them. Say, eel. Are you going to leave the castle? Then why does he think that? Well, Avaro's a bit worried to say it because it makes him a bit, feel a bit lonely. But... Eel's cleared up that misunderstanding she had with her village. So... If she wanted to home, return to her homeland, and that's one choice she could make. Nope. She's going to stay. This is a warm place. So, to Io, this is like... This is her second hometown. And so she's going to stay here and protect it. But... She doesn't know about Mikeu. Hmm? So? Oh. More molestation. Well, Mikeu and Eola have always been together. Well, since they met. But... Eola isn't so sure that they'll stay together going forward. Since Mikeu has a dream. She wants to become a wonderful mage and... You know, that's her splendid dream. Mikeu doesn't let herself... slack off. She's always moving forward and doing her best. Which makes her real cool. So, if Mikeu were to leave the castle in order to follow her dream, Io would actually probably stay here anyway. Io's dream is a little different from Mikeu's, after all. So, Io's going to protect her second home down here. Whether it's by cooking or fighting, that's what she's going to choose. She loves it here with Captain and the Goddess. And everybody smiling and having fun. Especially when Fia scones with the other one. Uh, okay. Anyway. Well. Eel does feel that way about Mikeu, after all. <laughs> of course. Mikeu is number one. Yeah, that hasn't changed. But... 
家族なのは変わらないから But even if there's distance between them and even if they aren't related by blood that doesn't change the fact that they are family So she's made some distance from her old hometown, but that was her first hometown, and she thinks highly of it, and that won't change. And her relationship with Mikke will be the same if they ever part. Although, just thinking about parting with Mikio makes her really, really lonely. Her hair and her ears and tail do this droopy thing. You know that. Well, the two of them are, do get along like that. Now that Faro tells her that she doesn't need to worry about that. Yo might not know this yet, but Mikio's dream to become a wonderful mage was in order to earn money, actually. So that she and Yo could live together and live well together. In order to live together with her, huh? Well, she was a bit surprised, but she smiles. Hmm, so, Eo didn't know that. Maybe she shouldn't, maybe Yavaro shouldn't have told it. And Mikio might get mad at him later. Well. So, now that we've cleared up that particular problem, the two of you can talk about it and decide on what path you're going to take together. And no matter what the outcome, Io and Fio will be Alvaro and Fio will be supporting you. It'd be nice if you stayed on the castle. But parting and coming together again are also fun. Yeah, he was going to talk with Mikio about it. You know, she could have done this herself. Hmm. So, she lost her parents all of a sudden, way back in those incidents. But now she's finally started to find her own path. Alright, Captain. Get to eating. Oh, right. Yeah, it really is good stuff. Captain, praise it some more. And also pet me. <laughs> uh, yeah, she kind of sticks her head out asking for the pet. She's really gotten used to asking a little bit for herself. So, she likes getting petted. It feels good. Also, she wants sperm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was all kind of sudden. And while we're eating of all times. Well, making new family is also important. The time and place isn't connected to that. Uh, so. Well. Even if she's 
calling herself a chef, this kind of assassin-like part of her hasn't changed. So, eat a lot and uh, gather your spirit. This spirit could be interpreted as, you know, regular energy from the heart. But in this case, she's actually talking about sperm again. One of those quirks of the Japanese language. She is too straightforward with this. But, that's a scene. Now, that first scene wasn't hard. And that scene wasn't hard. What's hard is this. I think I have a strategy that can get most of this done. So, ahead of here, there's the ruins. Some kind of ruins. And, Richa and Shaley would be glad to guide us. She's getting into it. You know, Eel has the weirdest forms of addressing people. Risha and Sally here is ruler. And Kisnir is knight. Fia is goddess. I think Deethelm is teacher. Well, Havaro is Havaro and Mikeu is Mikeu. But... Okay, moving forward. Mikio asks if Risha and Sally knows about this forest. Hmm. Avar also observes that she's heading straight forward without getting lost. Oh, jeez. Fia's jealous. Since Risha and Sally is being useful and Fia wants to be useful as well. Yeah, quit acting needy. Huh, anyway. We do need to explore these ruins, so yes, Risha and Sally is being more useful right now. Well, there is such a thing as tasks you're suited to and tasks you're not suited to. And in this particular instance, it's Rishu. Fia doesn't want to let it go, though. Feels like there should be something she should be prioritizing here. Well, it can't be helped, so Risha is going to explain to her lord here how this works. What? Oh, serious, all of a sudden. So, her husband isn't making light of Fia's importance in this situation. After all, this is all for Fia's sake. What did she just say? Her husband? No, it, this is for Fia. How so? So again, we're talking about this journey and how it's going to be long and there will be difficulties along the way. So in order to power up Fia and so on and so forth, all of us get to power up along the way by doing these sorts of things. So, 
taking these kinds of paths and doing our best here it lets us all improve in our own way, etc. etc. And in this way we're being useful to Pia. Oh, she gets the feeling like she just heard something really good. In one ear, not the other, though. And furthermore, her husband, in seeing her, his wife's beautiful figure, and basically falling for her, this will be protecting everybody and earning their trust. So, doesn't she agree? Yeah, Fia is convinced, as expected of Avaro. So, she's sorry for having that misunderstanding. Uh... That's good. So, basically, Rishu spouted off some really high-sounding sentiments and Fia fell for it hook, line, and sinker. Theo can tell. Kisnir can tell. And she furthermore points out that Fia didn't even object to the times Rishu called Avaro her husband. Avaro was counting. She did it four times. So, being a ruler, she's pretty good with words, isn't she? Mikio thinks she could learn something from her. Actually, Avaro thinks you shouldn't. And anyway, before Fia realizes she's been had, let's get into these ruins. <laughs> Alright, so... Let's get going. She's feeling good today. Well, she's feeling uneasy. Something like, something like a, an unhappy feeling or an unconvinced feeling. Oh, looks like Fia's feeling something. Uh, okay. Hey, Fia, look at this thing that Aurora found in the dirt. Yeah, it's part of the ruins, but still. It's just some ruined piece of... garbage, basically. But it's part of the ruins. Yeah, that's it! Don't scream in my ear for crying out loud. Yeah, it gives off a funny feeling to her and it's that symbol on the slab of a rock or whatever he picked up. It gives her this feeling like a feeling she'd had before. Symbol. Hmm. Well, Aurora can barely make it out thanks to all the erosion. Yeah, in any case, let's hurry up and proceed. Rishu thinks there's something good waiting for us. Yeah, she's still uneasy. And this is going to be a hell of a map. So, let's get to it. Whom do I deploy? Which directions?
I would like to level up some of my lower level characters and to the extent I can I will but I also have other problems namely this place is freaking hard I actually forget you Hmm. If I deployed... No. That would have been a bit pain in the ass. Getting this deep deploy point next turn, I'll be able to deploy more characters straight up there. But there are also a couple I'd like to deploy to the left. Hmm. Up here where Cotton is going. Yeah, I want a mage to back him up. The remainder will take the right and the center. No, I have to get that, don't I? Uh, you know, Dio, there's something useful for you to do. Grr. Lame. Okay. Oh, already? Yeah, Rudin can't really take on these skeletons with his physical attack. He'll have to rely on his magic. Mm-hmm. Oh, that thing. These... are some kind of moving monolith or something and do their physical defense it's probably best to attack them with magic oh bleh yeah this is why Kata needs a mage backing him up you know what, let that guy stand on the spikes, Karin will wait here for you one good thing about drawing it in is these monolith things are vulnerable to her attacks. Unfortunately, they also have a reflect ability. So annoying. They don't even get to apply their own defense. Uh, keep standing there. Hmm. Oh yes, now I can deploy. Ah. Okay, capture these bats for me. You know, I keep forgetting to take care of those monsters I have in storage. Oh jeez. Well, I can fix that up. If necessary, I can pull back one of the Yuiki next turn. Screw you, skeleton! Screw you and your... Oh, jeez. The good news is, she's standing right next to a Yuiki, so she'll probably have one of these deflected. But even one does a lot of damage to her. Huh. Yeah, you pull back. Oh, she still got the wrong weapon equipped. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Oh, jeez, that. That's right. 
Those type of enemies have this ability that reduces the amount of damage they take from ranged attacks. Oh jeez, this is going to take forever. Okay, work this time, not in. Hmm, I got ore from that. Anyway, let's keep moving because we got things to do. Hell bother. Great, stinging skeletons. Or something. Uh, 21 times 3. Let's do our best to try and capture this son of a bitch. Oh crap! Fia still has that holding back ring equipped. I was trying to use that to get Mikayu leveled up, wasn't I? Ha! Oh! That was a red ring it dropped. Which I kind of moved beyond using. Now, Mikayu can't quite kill it with that. And it would stomp her. This is why Mikayu needs level ups, by the way. Any old person can trigger this event. Avaro tries this door and it won't open for him. In case New tries the door, it won't even budge. <laughs> Fia, why are you even trying? But... Alright, so Risha and Sandy apparently feels like she can open this door. Oh, uh, wait a minute. You seem pretty confident in yourself. So, a wife's duty is to destroy what gets in the way of her husband. Do you have any... Even the slightest comprehension of what a marriage is and what it entails. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Knock it off. Yeah, explosions aren't a good thing in narrow spaces. So, with this, she has destroyed the obstacle. But there's something coming from the other side. A rock. And it gets her. So, yeah, she's passed out from the shock. And her armor's been a bit bent up, but since she's inside of her armor, she seems to be just fine. <laughs> She is just so reckless. Hey, Avaro. Now's not the time to relax. That rock's still coming. And accelerating. Huh, funny. 
All right, everybody pull back. And how far will carry Eurisia out? So, traps and things. Keep you moving. Hey, Mikael, hold on. Ah, save me. No, oh, Fia, I just noticed. You've got a mole on your boob. Anyway, hurry! Yeah, we're good with escaping, but why are you carrying... Risu that way? You know, the he make the princess carry. Look, she passed out. It can't be helped. Hey, look at her. She just smiled. Uh, th that's no way. Risu, are you okay? <laughs> She's definitely awake. She's just pretending to be passed out. Look, you're worrying too much. And besides, if I stop to put her down, we'll both get crushed. <laughs> Alright, Fia demands that you carry her with the princess carry next. Alright, fine. Just hurry up and run. So, that was the scene. Mm. So, that introduces these. If you thought the rocks we took care of back on Uragaru Twin Peaks were hard... <laughs> shut up. Don't even deal with these rocks. And that's everybody. Ah, more of this. Oh jeez, that thing is making its way over here, isn't it? But fortunately we have something that can make short work of that bastard. Fire claw! Oops. Hmm. We took care of our skeleton out of there, so we should be fine to proceed. Uh, oh yeah, she only does like 7 damage thanks to its ability. With this she can do 22. But she'll take 26 from its two counters. Let's play it safe. Hmm. Now when we go up there I want to do it with three characters. At a minimum. Well, more than three probably wouldn't work. Oh crap. So we're going to delay going through the gauntlet for now. Hmm. Running. Oh yes. May as well park you up here. We've got a little to do. And this isn't dangerous. Another skeleton. Well, at least it's Ranrin instead of Fia. Ah. Yep, what I tell ya. Hmm. Avaro, you need to be more impressive. And maybe higher level. 
So he'll do six damage, take nine. Ha, ah, this is going to be a pain. Oh, that's better. Well, you only live once, right? Holy shit! Avaro, you did good this time. Boy, that's gonna make fighting it a lot easier. There was really no way around that. So, Mikeu, come up here, smack this guy down, and get a level up. You need one. Why don't you do what I say? Alright, Eel. Once you get up here, we can start our... Oh, it looks like... Kisnir can't walk through the mud. Fixed it. Skyrka. Hmm, she'll be able to kill this one. Or weaken this one. Fifteen. Hmm. Oh, Black Putetetto also have a ranged attack. Yeah, let's capture it. Ho oh, ho. Magic attack. Speed. Luck. That was pretty good. The undead have notoriously low luck. And since they have low luck, we tend to get a lot of critical hits on them. Ah, anyway. Seven, seven, thirty-five. No, they do have a regeneration though. Pain in the ass. I think they gain seven hit points per turn. Okay, this turn, Ronin will weaken it, and then Fio will kill it. Wait, is she too powerful? Yeah. Nuts. Huh. Well, no capture for that guy. Skyrka. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, of course. There's just no end to these bastards. I really want to capture this guy, so I'm going to stick with this. Now, provided it doesn't revive itself. Oh, and a crit. Okay. Stomp this guy for me, Kavi. I don't think I have the item that lets anybody search. Nope. Wait, yes I do. Next turn I'll have Fia find a secret passage that's in there. 
But going up that secret passage, I will require. Shut up, bitch. All right, pretty soon everybody will be in order for moving in. Hopefully I want to be in this empty space. That will really speed things up. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. She is not well suited to what's ahead, but... What the hell, I haven't tried this guy yet. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, well, 2 SP is interesting. You don't see that very often. But, otherwise, not very good. This is the room. This is that room. But... I don't know what to do. Hmm. Ha ha ha. Yorin actually doesn't have much in the way of... in the way of spell points, however. So I'll save his super attacks for... Well, I probably won't use the super attacks at all. I'll use that other attack of his. Wait, I shouldn't be getting too close. Yep. Yorin's ranged attack is probably my best... Oh no, I forgot. These guys ha have ranged attack reduction. So the ranged attack is even more useless than this. What is in here then? Oh. Okay, pro tip, don't actually let Kisnir stand there. Uh, hmm. If I'd known he was going to get an extra move, I would have really messed up the way this thing works. So anyway, these things have 250 life and 40 defense, only 20 magic defense, so if I got Fia down here and buffed her all the way, she, she might do, oh, 30 damage per turn. Not worth it, in my opinion. Alright, good job. <coughs> and now after two shots of his heavy punches, Yorin is all tuckered out. Hmm. Okay, Yorin. Yeah, that's a pretty dicky attack, but... All you need to do is a few damage. Because Fia can do... Enough to capture it with this. Capture, capture. Ha. 
Oh, I forgot about that. Um... I think Cotton can figure something out. Okay. You'll move first. You'll move next. Detail, you pairing up the rear. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, Avaro will need to be more buff to handle this. Huh. Well, it has a pretty impressive attack. And impressive physical defense. I'll have to get Mikeyo up here to handle this. Screw you, monolith guy. Okay, let's forget about capturing this guy. I got the skeleton, and this is just an earth elemental. But let's get some healing going on. Oh, hmm. Fortunately, Avaro at his last rank up got the earth flow skill, so he can move through earth if he needs to. This will work. Alright, Jorin, pull that guy in and we will... Well, not much we can do. Hmm. White magic ore. Great. The item will need to stay in this room to... I hate you so much. To keep control there so that... I don't have to leave keys near in there while the thing passes. Now. You know what, Karin? We'll just have to sit here. I should have pulled him back a square. Skeletons. Oh crap. I think I know where that skeleton's coming from and this is a bad time. Alright. No holds barred. Oh hey, free attacks. Well, it does decent damage. If by decent way we'll accept pretty damn crappy. How much damage reduction does it have on cold? Extreme damage reduction on cold. Oh, Mikeu is a bad choice for fighting here. This is unfortunate. Whom can I deploy? Ah, jeez. No, trying to get through there would be too much of a hassle. Time to retreat.
That would have been a good time for your remove skill. Eh? Wait, bro, didn't you just get like the most awesome level up ever and now you get this? I have lost faith in you. Now, can he take this? Forget it. I'm having caught in pulled back. If he has got a chance to kill it with this. If she gets a bunch of double strikes and critical hits. I haven't even gotten to the good part yet. Oh great, now that I've damaged that model, it's going to start chasing whomever it can find. Oh, Mickey was so unsuited to it. Capture time. Yeah, okay, we're done here. I was hoping that we'd, we'd get this cleaned out before. Okay, 18 times 3. Damn, these guys are a pain in the ass. 18 times 2. Nope, Mikio can't do this. I didn't realize how much difficulty I would have in fighting that guy. He's near you over the rear guard. I've all stand a pretty good chance against this thing. And he's got a fire attack at the moment, so. Can't go there. Clowns will leave me. Run away! Mm -hmm. We got some gold. Uh, time to run away, Kisnir. Now, while this w this one can't get to me, if this one goes first, it'll move into this square, and then that one can get kill her. Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. It's 
sweet. Oh, look at that. She starts with holy weapons. No wonder she does so much damage. Well, that being the case, we may as well get a capture of this guy. Look at that, two stars. Two star undead is... Oops, I did the wrong thing. Take backs, take backs. What? You've got to be kidding me. But... Hmm. Nah, well, screw it then. Oh, that was useful. All right. Hmm. Well, she'll have to put on that other weapon of hers next turn. Oh, crap. Oh, was a lot of fatigue. But this will work. This will work. Alright, non-elemental. So, that'll knock it on its ass. Perfect. Okay, thanks a bunch, BKU, but I think we're done with you. Hmm? Another one of those instances where we can't keep her staying still. Hey. Well. Those little side rooms aren't of any use, but you need to explore them because they're there, you know? Let's see if we can capture this sucker. Uh, not today. Alright, Avaro. Fatigue recovery. Avaro is weak against ice and lightning, but those enemies don't have either of those types of attacks. Risu, capture this for real this time. Well, Mikio got a level up, so we're going to say that she did well this time. These guys have turned around. That gap and gotten everything out of it. Oh yeah, she's still weak against this. Okay, 10 damage, 2 attacks. But she's got such ridiculously high attack defense power anyway. Oh, I'm going to kill something. Alright, if we're all getting up on this bastard, he's gonna go down. Oh, 
Oh, that's about perfect. Capture! Guess who gets the healing now, bitch? Haha. <laughs> oh yeah. Used the wrong thing before. Alright, we got through there in a reasonable amount of time, so Deet can come and help with the engineering work that needs to be done over here. And there is quite a bit. Hmm. Now the trouble. We'll just begin. Oh man, I ran date out of fatigue as well. well. Fatigue potions are the one type of potion I have so many of, it's not even funny. Okay, don't put anyone on this square except for Risho and Seri. That is my advice to you. Because of this. Ansembria. Assembria. Well, no, not really. That's just what I yelled out the first time I saw it. It's not Assembria. Even Karin, who has two different kinds of damage reduction, can't take that many hits. And it's only Rishu with her 37 defense. Who can handle it, actually? Oh, maybe I should switch her equipment. Now she is perfectly equipped for it. Now I'm really hoping I can get her through to that thing and kill it. Because then it'll be safe to bring other characters in. I suppose eventually it might run out of SP, but I have yet to see it happen. She actually looks pretty cool. Oh, right. Mm. Ah, just to relax for the time being. And I'm going to... No, I don't think I want to lower her defense that much. Okay, no capture, but I do want to kill this thing so I can move on. Lame. Normally you see this is 35 versus 43, which means it wouldn't do any damage. But it has that special ability that adds 10. Person killer. That's applicable to all of my humans and all of my demi-humans. Which means my cat girls would be 
endangered if I brought them in here. Ah, endangered species. So a lot of enemies will always attack the closest one of your allies, but this particular enemy isn't like that. It may very well attack anything in its range. So you better keep it to reach and sailing until that thing is dead. And here we go. We finally get to see it. Oh, this could take a while. Oh, maybe I should have someone head up there grab that. Oh yeah, she still has the weak shield on. Well... Oh no, it wasn't the weak shield. It's got a better attack which it can use at closer range. As if the long range one wasn't bad enough. Yeah, that's how it goes. Now we just count on Risha and Sayli to take care of this. Oh, I forgot. Risha has a nice attack I can use. I don't use these kind of things often, but she has this scary attack. Yeah, it's not actually much better than before. It did 24 damage, so I'll see what her regular attack does and compare. Normally, she does 14. Hey, one more defense. Hmm. All right, whom did I equip it on? I don't know if I'll be able to defeat this guy with her. Oh, oops. I just ran deep out of all that fatigue he built up. Well, perhaps we'll have to leave this... ...completing this map till later. I was worried this would end ultimately be the fate of this play. High level... level 23. But still, stupidly powerful. Alright, Pulavaro out. Yes, Ikze!
Tsutsugeki! And you know what? I'm not going to wait any longer. We got a couple more enemies to get up there and capture. Well, one more enemy to capture. And while he is in range of that thing, he can survive one hit. What did I tell you? This thing is a bastard. Okay. Keep it up, Rishi. And use your counter skill more often. It's really useful. <sighs> Alright, the reason we deployed Ruin is because there's a water elemental up there. Karin will do a little exploring as well. He'll be able to open that room and grab that card. And while he doesn't have the defense that Rishu does, he can still take a few hits. Okay. Fear, actually. I think I'm good now. Now, if I got a Varro down here, he could open that door and there are some mining points back there he could take advantage of, but... Unfortunately, that won't be an option. Cover some fatigue and get in there. I know somewhere around here there's a mining point I can take advantage of. Even in these last few turns. Oh, here we go. Alright, that uneasiness Fia was feeling is stopped. So... Yeah, that thing she felt when she entered the ruins. And now that we defeated that, it went away. So this is a golem type thing, huh? No. Oh, that enemy was actually a golem. No, nah, golems are humanoid. Don't you know anything? So, what kind of connection does it have to Fia? Well... I've already did his little speculation that because it was hostile towards us, she was able to feel it. But Fia says that wasn't the bit, the problem. Wait, I've already spotted something else. So one of the busted pieces of the golem had another one of those symbols on it. Yeah, we found one of those earlier, and now that we mention it, when she looks at this symbol, she gets that uneasiness. A little less, but... Hmm, this is interesting. We also found a golem that had that capacity to unease her in the castle. And it had that symbol carved on it. 
In the castle? Like, in her body? Hmm. It's got to have some connection to Fia. But what's it doing here? But the world may never know. Yeah. She wishes she knew. She'd be more useful if she knew. Alright, so once we return to the castle, let's explore the depths of the castle a little more. We might find something. But now we are almost out of time. No, oh, I should have shown you this character. Nada, nada. It's just a two-star water spirit. But I bet it looks cute when it's fighting. Now oh, here's the mining point. That's not a mining point. I know there's a mining point. Somewhere. I think I remember where. Alright, you did your job, Rishu. You took your sweet time about it, but you did it. This is stamina recovery. Fatigue recovery. Great. Alright, we're about done here. But that mining point, I remembered where it was. If you were able to get behind this door, there are three more mining points in there and nothing else. So, we're out of time, so we gotta go. Uh, Alright. This isn't connected to the map. This happens if you pass enough days. So, a couple guys are meeting. So that made it to Guarakuna Castle. He wonders if it's a coincidence or good luck. So this other guy is sorry. So what are we gonna do? Sono Shiyonai. Shitomato Josaito Enga or Kotoa Yorokova Shi Kotoda. Well, we don't need to make a move right now. For the moment, since the castle made a connection, that will be good enough. Danga Kansiwa Shiyodana. Jean or Scoshi Fuyasto Shio. But he wants to keep a watch on this. And the manpower he is devoting will be increased a bit. Kaskomarimasta. Gotcha. <laughs> so, to think that thing made it to the castle. He was the one who wanted to get his hands on it first, but... Even now, he can take advantage of the situation. <laughs> so, his secret ambition is coming to fruition. Or something. Wish they would be a little more clear about that. But geez, I've got all these scenes waiting for me and I'm all out of time. So... I'd like you to thank you for watching YouTube and I will see you next time.